starts off with Johnny Gargano. Yep. And, of course, he's just pretty much saying that at TakeOver he won and that he's the champ. And he actually likes how the fans were saying Johnny Champion. Um, he More like Johnny Jackass. Yeah. Well, that was what Velveteen Dream said when he came out. And he's and then saying we deserve it because he won it. And then, and then here comes Champa. Make love to the belt. <laughs> and then Champa's like, really proud. I'm here to actually celebrate in your moment because you, you followed the champs league. You followed them. So he came out to try to form a team with him? Well, they were a team before. D, uh, D, Y, D, O, D, Y, I, or D, I, Y. I didn't, I didn't watch when they were teams, so. Um... And then Velveteen Dream comes out. I can't, I don't really like him. I don't, I don't, no. Looks like a dork. Oof. But he looks like, uh, I don't know he looks like. Anyways, he came out and everybody was wondering which champion, uh, which champions he, does he want, uh, does he want to face? Yeah, it was funny because he goes, no one cares about you guys. They care about the guy that just showed up at the me and everybody's saying dream 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 and then it's funny he tells Champa he's like he calls him Gollum and is precious I don't want you and he goes in the ring I want you to Johnny Gargano and he calls him Johnny Jackass yeah because Gargano's like you want me all right you want your you got your opportunity on me go for it because yeah. I win and then he was like he said, it's like, am I gonna be wrestling Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Jackass? So it was, it was funny, and then they're just saying the cha the whole fans are just saying it, and then they just locked. And then when Gargano and Chomp was standing by each other on the ramp, they're saying the tag team name. DIY. Yeah. Well, for our for, uh, actual official match, the Forgotten Son Sons versus. The Mansoor. Mansoor, never heard of him, ever. Yeah, but what the? <laughs> Coming out all dancing? Yeah. Well, anyways, the, 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 um, oh wow, I called them a revival. The, the Forgotten Sons actually end up winning it. Yeah, Jackson Riker, it was Jackson Riker against the Mansoor. Um, that was he did, he did it actually really quick. It was a quick match. It was like a power slam. It, yeah, it was like a. Like yeah, before that, they wanted a dang encore. Screaming in the audience. Wrong guy. Oh, wrong guy? Yeah, that was... <laughs> wrong guy! Oh, are you sure? Yeah, Eric Blumenhagen. Oh, that's right. That Wrong guy. <laughs> that weird... Um, oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Next one was Drew Gulak, which is really funny. From 205 Live. So now he's NXT now? I guess so. And he fights some guy named Eric Bugenhagen? Yeah, Bugenhagen, yeah. and that's the, the one. The guy that they wanted an encore because he was dancing. He dancing and playing guitar, air guitar, and... To Screaming like a bitch. That was weird. Yeah. He looks dorkish. He looks like a guy that Missy would go out with. Uh, no thank you. The guy at, at the bar should be that's been drinking too much should be hitting on him because you know, they know that... They are, their um, their standards are super low. No. Don't you lie, Missy. You've no, done that one yeah. time. <laughs> Go on, tell the fans you did it the one. You've done it once. <sighs> but um, anyway, you go like pretty much dominated him, and he won. And then he after the match, he's like, really, I dominate two hundred five live, and this is what I get when I come to NXT. Like really, and then who comes out? Bra. Matt Riddle, bro. Yeah, bro. And he comes out, he's just pretty much saying, if you don't like it here next to bro, why don't you just leave? Or I'll come in that ring and make you tap. And then... Yeah. Drew Gulak uh, uh, just told him to come bring it. Yeah, he's like, come bring it. Take your flip-flops flying off and come here. And he goes... He jumps in he the jumps air. Wisely. Yeah, he jumps in the air and his flip-flops just fly everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, that match was crazy. That actually was a pretty long match. Good match. They both oh, yeah. put it yeah. on there. So, but. But. Matt Riddle, bro, won. Yeah, bro. Bro. 
Mm-hmm. He did some like, so, well, he won with a submission, but he did like to a power bomb, to a knee strike, and then he pin. He tried to pin on that, but he, Drew Gulak kicked out, and then he went to his like submission move and made him tap out. It's surprising at the end, they both shook hands. Yeah. Yeah, respect. You something that WWE lacks. Yeah, that's one thing. Raw SmackDown don't shake, just don't shake hands. Uh, sometimes they do, but not really. More NXT does it. But the main event: Bianca Blair, Kari Shane, and Io Shirai versus Shannon Baszler, Jessamyn Duke, and Mar Marina. I don't know what the last name for her is. But that was, of course, of course, you got the bad guys, of course. Got to, like, team up, keep tagging in the corner, so, like... None of, the good, none of the good guys actually get into the ring? Because they know that if any... Because they know they have no chance. Of course. Especially, I don't like that Justin Duke. She's too tall and skinny. But she's got anorexia. Ugh. But close to the end of the match, um, Io Sorari, she did like the 619 for like Rey Mysterio, and then she did a top row move to, uh, yeah, it was Shayna, because she was in the ring. Shayna pins, kicks out, well, didn't kick out when the guys came in to help her. And then she tags Kari, Kari does her uh, elbow, Macho Man drop, top yeah. row, pins. Her partners help her by not letting them get the win. Then Bianca comes in, and then she she quickly got Shayna before she tagged in. She did the KOD, KOD I think it was, and then pinned. They came out and <laughs> let them, and then um, she tagged Iowa, and then Kari went on the top rope and did a top rope move to the outside to. Justin in a marina while Ira did a springboard top rope for the win on Shayna and won, so she yeah. actually gets a title shot. Yeah. Because she pinned the champion, so. But in the middle of the match, Bianca Bear actually picks up Kari Shane and holds her in the air. Yeah. Way above her head and actually uses, uses her. She's, Bianca's pretty good. She showed it, especially at TakeOver one time. She, she, re she really. No, take over Austin. Uh, Austin. Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Yeah, Arizona. Yeah, Phoenix. But um, that was that match. Um, and then also in the middle of the NC, they had this Ricochet Adam Cole interview. Adam Cole was pretty much just saying he'll be waiting for Ricochet, saying he'll be Ricochet, really. But Ricochet is just when Adam Cole left, he says he'll go. He doesn't matter who he gets through. But he's getting his title back. So, but I like Ricochet's so, yeah. Ricochet is way better. And it's official. In two weeks at TakeOver, Johnny Gar Gar Gargano and Velveteen Dreamer are fight facing each other for the championship. Well, I don't know if it's TakeOver. It didn't say TakeOver. said two weeks. It just said NXT. But, yep. I'm going for Johnny Gargano. Yep. Over Velveteen Dream. Yep. So... Yeah, I mean, out of all this, I like the woman match. I kind of like that brawl match. That was, yeah, that, that, that was, was really that was interesting. really good. The forgotten, the Jackson Rager match was pretty quick, so. And the Forgotten Sons was a forgettable match. Yeah, because it's like it's like it's one like, two it's like one two three. Yeah. But so yeah, NXT still better than WWE. <laughs> <laughs> NXT is WWE. It's I'm just viewing the... Raw and SmackDown as both WWE. W but you know, w but you can tell, you can tell NXT it's and all the same company. No, but you can tell they're it's a little way league different. and a big league. It's like baseball. NXT is like a little league. Big league is Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, but yeah. Raw and SmackDown are are the ones that you when you think of WWE, you think of that, and when you watch it. It's kind of boring. Like, well, well, Raw has its moments, more talky. Yeah, especially when some hot guys come out. Yeah. 
We all know one hot guy. Yeah, but life. he might be leaving. No, he's definitely mm. leaving. They're actually yeah, he is leaving. He's going to another rest, uh, another wrestling one. She's, yeah, but she still got stuff. Like I still got stuff, Rollins. Mm, he's gonna probably leave too. Hey, he's on too. I no, he's he's definitely gonna leave next. But anyway, that was NXT. Did, if you watched it, let us know what did you what did you like? Yeah. What was your favorite part of Matt's bra? Yeah, I'm bra. <laughs> but um. Matt Brit Matt Riddle wants to know what you uh you, what you guys think of his Looking match. forward to the next NXT, brah. Yeah, definitely, bra. <laughs> but anyway, um. Happy birthday, bra. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow, bra. Yeah, bra. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up before before someone lays an egg. All right, all right. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye, bra. Yeah, bra.